Hello, this is Eric, and I'm going to show you what I use for charging my EV6 when I'm on the go. I mostly use the DC fast chargers, but there are certain times when you can't use the DC fast charger. And what I found is this solution of using a Tesla made EVSE that comes with Tesla cars, or that used to come with Tesla cars, now they made it optional. The beauty with this guy is it supports 240 volt 32 amp, which is more than most of the cheap EVSEs uh, support on Amazon. And it also comes with this NEMA 1450 adapter. And all you do to use that is you plug, you unplug the cord here and then just slide this one in and you have a 32 amp 240 volt charger that can charge your car at seven kilowatts so this is a great addition if you happen to have one of these outlets handy now since this is a tesla charger you might ask how do you use this with your ev6 well the magic to that is this thing and this is an adapter that takes tesla on one end and j1772 on the other and it's made by a company called lectron I'll post a link to it down below in the comments. And I bought this from Amazon. It's about $150, $160. And it's a pretty high quality adapter. It's made out of the same type of plastics that, you know, the factory ones are made out of. To use the adapter, all you do is plug it into the Tesla plug. There's a squeeze lock release on the back. And that just slides in there like that. I'm going to set the phone down. Slide it in there like that. And then the next step is to plug this into the wall. So the first thing with this Tesla one is to always make sure that that plug is in all the way. It comes out and you can get errors. So plug this into the wall over here. There, make sure all the lights are green. It says Tesla. And now that we have that plugged in, you're supposed to wait 30 seconds. I don't think it matters. And you want to unlock the Kia. And then touch there. And then you go ahead and plug this in. Now there's a certain thing. I'm going to tell you that this will always fail on the first time you try this. And this is why I hesitated getting the solution, because when I first read about it on the EV6, that there's some annoying workaround where you have to get into the car to get it working. I found a better way to do this. So you wait for it to fail. And now you see that light's flashing. That means it failed to start charging. So the trick I found is you open the app, and you come over here where it says start charging. Press and hold that for one second. Didn't register, sorry. Okay, remote charge has been sent. Now wait about 10 seconds. And it went there. And it said could not process. That didn't happen to me before. There it went. So I tried it again. The other times it all worked the first time. There it worked the second time. And you hear it click. And now, you see the flashing light? We're charging. I think the failure this time might be that I hadn't used that phone for a while. I usually use the one I'm taking the video with. And when the Tesla is charging, it does the green sequence like that. And now my Kia EV6 is charging using a Tesla adapter. And the beauty of this solution is not just that this whole 32 amp charging system is $360, because you can get other EVSEs that are 32 amp 
that support both 110 and 220 for about the same price. However, what this offers is this will let you use some destination chargers by Tesla. So you'll find that a lot of hotels have chargers specifically for Teslas. And this will let you use those and charge it up to 48 amps that the EV6 GT line allows. So it's a more flexible solution than having just a J1772 cord. You know, being able to use those destination chargers might be a big deal. Otherwise, you can always just get a cheap J1772 connector cord just to have as a spare. But like I said, I like that the Tesla one is 32 amp at 240 volt or 110 volt, 120 volt. So there's that. It's really simple to use. You don't have to get into the car and do this other stuff that other people suggest. Just using the app and send the start charging command. That seems the easiest way. And now, granted, this is really slow using the 120 volt outlet. It says it'll take about 15 hours to charge only 20%, so that's pretty typical. But in an emergency, or like you're parked at a hotel overnight, that might be the difference of, you know, getting to your next charger or not. So, thanks for watching, and I'll have more great charging tips coming up in future videos. If you have any suggestions, leave them a comment, and please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks!